Brother is unquestionably the world's most successful reality show. Since premiering in Holland in 1999, Big Brother has been broadcast to more than two billion people. From Argentina to Australia, the format is a proven model of success. It was the first reality show of its kind to explode across cultural boundaries. Real life has never been televised in quite the same way. Right. The fact that those people in the house, especially in the first series, had no clue, had no idea what was going on outside, while the whole country was upside down. Tens of thousands of people were visiting uh, the venue where the house was located. Uh, I mean, so many things in Big Brother were new. Almost immediately after achieving cult hit status in Holland, Big Brother exploded across the globe. Within the year, versions of the show had been sold to 11 different countries. Success was not without controversy. In many countries, including Germany, France and South Africa, there were huge debates about this new idea. In Germany, in fact, there is a law now that the cameras have to be switched off for one hour every 24 hours because they've considered an infringement of their human rights to be non-stop televised. The French, who do like to worry about the, the sort of morals and ethics of programmes, were very, oh, no, no, it could never happen here. In fact, the French took their objections to the streets. There were protests trying to stop Big Brother from ever reaching French airwaves. Mind you, when it finally did, it went through the roof. But the French, again, God bless them, were not able to see themselves following success from elsewhere, so they had to call it Loft Story, because the French, we would never do Big Brother. And Big Brother poses all those questions, morally, ethically. It really puts people on the spot and makes them think about what is and is not permissible on television. Even in the most open society, like in Holland, reality can seem, well, surreal. On their third season of Big Brother, Andres and Kelly seem to be like any other reality couple, thrown into a quick and easy intimacy. Kelly, however, is not your average girl. Even for a sorry, Okay. Kelly is a very famous transsexual in Holland. Oh. We were in the house, we didn't know she was transsexual. She is a very, very beautiful woman. I, mean, I only see her as a woman. I kissed her before I know that. Nobody could tell him, of course. Everybody yeah. was shaken. How is he going to react? Yeah, this is, this is he, television. He reacted very cool, very, very cool. decent. In America, this scenario might be awkward, but not so in Amsterdam. I think it has to do with, with some culture and some tolerance. We've got very high tolerance in Holland. South Africa is the 20th country where Big Brother has been mounted. The first show in South Africa, uh, which launched not so long ago, I think one and a half year ago, was a big, big issue in terms of culture, differences in culture, uh, black and white. Given South Africa's political history, it would, it would reflect a change and it would give an audience a chance to measure that change by looking at a specific group of young people from different racial groups interacting with each other. The show's overwhelming success in South Africa has spread across the entire continent with a new Pan-African Big Brother. Featuring 12 housemates from 12 different African nations, it is a phenomenon watched in over 40 African countries. The show has been praised for encouraging Africans to question national stereotypes and criticized for scenes of cuddling and kissing that seem to condone casual sex in the midst of Africa's AIDS pandemic. Controversy hasn't hurt ratings, however. The producers say 30 million people are watching. Surprisingly, the one place where Big Brother did not work was right here in the United States. The show needed some fine tuning once it hit our shores. The Dutch version was pretty much done here. Well, it didn't work. It didn't work creatively. I think Big Brother 1 was, there was a model that had been built and was, you know, in the first Big Brothers in Europe that was followed out here that was on that very minimal, stark level. It became very boring to look at. Although almost 11 million Americans tuned in when Big Brother premiered in the U.S. in the summer of 2000, American producers quickly discovered that U.S. viewers prefer their reality a bit glossier than overseas. We all realized together that we need to be able to Americanize formats that are coming over from Europe because Americans watch TV differently. We changed a lot of the rules, a lot of the format. The only things that, were, that remained were the title, 
Julie Chen and the same house, although we completely redesigned and redecorated it. With Big Brother produced in 23 countries, Survivor in 25, and Pop Stars, a huge overseas success now in 26 countries, producers still face the challenge of creating shows that reflect the local values and customs of their own countries. In Japan, some shows incorporate the society's traditional ideals of mating, with an unexpected element. There have been some Japanese dating shows that have been sort of hot warmings one called future diary where you get real people to interact according to a diary that tells them today you're going to go to this restaurant where you will meet this guy and this show became uh, quite fascinating because you couldn't tell when their real emotions were kicking in or when they were just obeying the the instructions given and so it was real sort of lean forward television because you were fascinated to know whether they were acting or real in China, where reality TV is still a new concept, shows emphasize family relationships rather than individual glory. In the wedding race, married couples compete to win prizes for each other. Some of the themes that we try to incorporate that are somehow unique, that you don't really see a lot even with American or, or Japanese shows, is uh, the idea of um, couples risking their lives. Um, you know, for each other to build a life to get together. The, the grand prize in our show is, is a house in China, which is, for Chinese people, is quite substantial. And uh, we try to incorporate more of a, like a, uh, in a way, family or love, a relationship type theme to it, rather than a purely, and say in the States, a lot of it is about me, me, me. Although reality shows around the world are produced to reflect local values, some things are universal, namely emotion, feeling, the way all people respond to competition, drama, and life as it unfolds. My first shock or surprise was not so much the differences, but the similarities. You get the same stories unfoldings, the same worries, the same kind of reactions. What's very different from culture to culture is the way people express their feelings. One thing it has done is probably indicated that perhaps we're all more similar than we think, you know, we are. When we